This is the Lincoln Continental Black Label Trim Edition, and today we're going to take you on a review. Today we're working with our friends at Chuck's Faith Ford in beautiful New Ulm, Minnesota. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, two guys, guys that are riding. Ride. I see Nathan didn't point because his hands are cold. It's cold out here. Yes. <laughs> He's got his hands in his pocket. But Nathan, tell the folks what we're taking a look at today. Oh, today we are taking a look at a Lincoln Continental Black Label and it is all wheel drive. Yes, it is. But say, before we get started, if you want to keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you want to learn how to use all the infotainment systems built into these nice cars, and you like cool collector car stories, take a moment to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification up above so you never miss a video. That's right. So what do you say, Nate? Oh, let's, let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. All right, so this morning we are suffering greatly. <laughs> uh, we, <laughs> we are driving a Lincoln Continental Black Label with the technology package and the rear seat package. Yep, all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive. What what an yeah. awesome, awesome car. I absolutely love this. Um, Getting in and out, of course, is easy. The car is, is uh, it's a car. It's not that high off the ground. Um, very easy to step in and out, both front and rear uh, seats. Um, I, I, I like how the controls are laid out. This is a different view for me. Um, I haven't seen this interior before, um, but uh, you know, the, the, all the gear shifters are push buttons, but they're up by the infotainment screen, really easy to reach. Um, otherwise, everything's pretty much controllable from your steering wheel. You do have physical controls for your climate and that kind of stuff. It's all well lit um, down here. Um, so that's really nice. It has a really nice ride to it. The, the, these seats are 30-way power adjustable. <laughs> so there's almost nothing you can't adjust on them. And they're super comfortable. And the ride itself is really nice. It's, uh, it, it, it's just... It, it feels like it should on a luxury car. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of parking it, um, couldn't be any easier. You know, you've got the rear view camera, the, the dynamic guidelines, and then you have the uh, automatic uh, parking feature. So you could parallel park, you could um, do a 90 degree uh, angle park, um, and the car will steer for you. You will operate the throttle and the brake. So absolutely easy to, to, to park this car. All right, in just a minute here, we're gonna pull over and we're gonna let Rob drive. And I'm gonna go sit in the back. Because <laughs> I can't wait to get in that extra package, the rear seat package that they have. I figured that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, my turn. Nathan's out back playing with all the buttons and knobs and the rear seat <laughs> package and all that. Got, I'll be with you in a couple of years. You got the screen up, that's cool. That's really nice, I've got that on my car and it's really helps the back seat passengers with those sloped rear windows to keep some of the heat off of them. Uh, interior quietness and um, the sound, it's, we're cruising along at 55 now and it's really quiet in here. Very peaceful, very secluded from the outside. Um, so high marks for that, I would say, definitely. Uh, you know, safety systems included. Uh, this has adaptive cruise, it has the lane keeping, it has the blind spot. Uh, sensors, front and rear cameras, uh, a lot of things, and I'll cover that as well uh, as Nathan will as well, showing you on the inside. All right, so we're going to take a look and whoa, oh, she goes wow. Okay, <laughs> for a little three liter, which is actually a three, it's three point oh, but it's two point seven liter, but it is twin turbo V six. Uh, that had pretty good kicked more than I thought it would have. I thought it would just leisurely pull along, and no, this wanted to uh, just uh, dog it and, and run. That was, that was pretty good. I like that. 
I'm gonna get out here again. There's a vehicle coming. I want to get out here and I want to try to go from a from a stop and let's see what it's gonna be like here. So buckle yourself in there, Nate. Let's see. Oh boy! What... All right, go for it. Holy! Wow! wow. Okay. Um, this is not the land yacht Lincolns of the 70s. This is uh, this is pretty good. I, I, you know, that's that's very nice. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, okay. <laughs> that was fun. Coming up next, my uh, exterior review. Going to talk about the uh, spec, the dimensions, the design, all those cool things. And then after that, Nathan will show you all if he. If I can talk him into getting him back up to the front seat, he's going to take you for a tour of the inside of the car and show you all the really, really cool technology and features that are built into this car. Yes. So keep watching. Offered in Premier, Select, Reserve, and Black Label trim, the Continental pairs tight handling and a trio of V6 engines with an opulent cabin. The design revives its traditional appeal with wide shoulders, a long wheel fit base, emphatic details, and a formal silhouette. It has just the right amount of glitz to suit its proportions. The Lincoln Continental 3.0T all-wheel drive black label is presented here in diamond black with jet black Venetian leather interior, stickered $78,630. This vehicle is equipped with the following optional packages. It does have the climate package, the rear seat package, the twin panel moonroof package, technology package, uh, and many other add-on options with this car. It's really cool. Now it is powered by a twin turbocharged and intercooled 2.7 liter double overhead 24 valve uh, V6 engine with aluminum block and aluminum heads and it has direct injection. Now it produces 400 horsepower and 400 foot-pound of torque and is driven with a six-speed automatic transmission with manual shifting modes. Capable of 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds, 0 to 100 in 12.8 seconds, and a standing quarter mile 13.8 seconds with 103 miles per hour. Now out front you'll see it does have the five lens LED headlights with auto off and on feature with signature lighting. You also have the triple lens LED fog lights, the chrome bumper trim, and I love the big mesh grill with the chrome surround and the large Lincoln label. You also do have the body colored bumper and rain sensing wipers with windshield wiper de-icer. Let's take a look along the side. Along the side, I do like the chrome spear that has the Continental name in it. Uh, that's really nice. You do also have 20 inch polished and painted turbine aluminum wheels, and they are wrapped in P24540R20 all season tires. Now, of course, it does have uh, four wheel disc brakes with ABS. Up front, you have 13.9 inch uh, vented disc, and out back, you got 13.6 inch. Front suspension is McPherson strut, with dampers uh, and it's aluminum control arm and stabilizer bar. There's also continuously controlled dampening with uh, an advanced integral link suspension with coil springs, gas pressurized dampers, and stabilizer bar. Also along the side then you do have the power folding uh, heated mirrors with integrated turn signal and it does also have the, uh, the uh, puddle lamps as well so it casts the uh, Lincoln grill. And here, one of my favorite features of this car, the design is the e-latch door handles. They have the, and they also have the power cinch and closing. This does have keyless entry and electronic touch keypad on the driver's side there. It does have smartphone integrated remote. Uh, and it does also have remote start and on your smartphone you can do vehicle finder. Up top we do have a twin panel moonroof and it does have along the bottom a nice chrome uh, rocker panel accent. A few of the safety features built into this vehicle are the advanced track electronic stability control, also has uh, side door impact beams, has front and rear parking sensors, blind, spart, uh, blind spot, parking sensors, rear collision warning, and so much more. Let's take a walk out back. 
Okay, out back you do have the special black label badging. It does have LED tail lights. You have the body colored bumpers and uh, you have the chrome bumper trim down at the bottom. It also has a hands-free foot activated uh, trunk with um, open and closing. And you see at the bottom, you do have the dual chrome exhaust rings. I'm gonna open it up with the key fob and I apologize, it is a little dirty. We had some uh, dew and things out here today, but because it's uh, 12 degrees, we couldn't run it through a car wash. Anyway, let's take a look inside at the cargo area. Okay, trunk volume on this vehicle is 17 cubic feet. And that is quite a bit of space in there. It's really cool. And we've got some pictures of that and we'll, we'll overlay it here so you can see that a little bit better. Let's talk about the dimensions. Okay, overall width of the car is 78.1 inches. It does ride on a wheelbase of 117.9 inches with an overall length of 201.4 inches with a height of 58.5 inches. Now it does have a 19 gallon fuel tank and it's uh, curb weight's 4,707 pounds with a turning circle of 41.8 feet. Now, safety. This vehicle does have collision warning. It does have adaptive cruise control, surround view cameras, and blind spot monitors, plus some of the other features that we talked about a few minutes ago. Performance. Top speed is governed and limited at 143 miles per hour. Braking 70 to 0, 173 feet. Now appearance, well, it's handsome yet not exactly memorable. The shape itself is fairly ordinary. It's more of a canvas for that big mesh grill out front. Uh, I like the chrome fender vents, uh, the slim LED tail lights, and the cool high mounted door handles. That's, those are really nice, those E door handles. Let's talk about dependability. Basic warranty, four year, 50,000 miles. Drive train, six year, 70,000 miles. Economy, 16 city, 24 highway, 19 combined. Now, what do I like about the car? Very strong acceleration with the V6 twin turbo uh, three liter, has good ride and handling dynamics and balance, and it's a luxuriously appointed interior. What I don't like, it does get pricey with options. The Lincoln brand image is kind of lackluster. They're trying to rebuild. Uh, but not yet quite there. And the, uh, the fuel economy overall, even with the three liter V6, because again, this is not offered with an eight cylinder engine. It's only the 300 V6. It does put out 400 uh, pound foot of torque and 400 horsepower, but the overall fuel economy is not that great. So I would say that's uh, one of the things I don't like as well. So coming up next, Nathan is going to take you for a tour of the interior of this car and you're really going to love it because there's so many bells and whistles and so many fun things built into this car you're absolutely going to love it and then like he'll tell you we're going to cut a separate video as well we'll post the link above and below to all the technology and how to use all the technology in this cool car all right keep watching Stepping onto the inside here of the black label Lincoln Continental. I love the color combination on the door here. Uh, up here, you've got a three person memory setting. You've got your power seat controls. You've also got a, a extendable front, uh, front part of the seat for left and right side. And then you got your um, massage and lumbar settings up here. You have two of your Revel audio speakers right up here and then down at the bottom of the door. Over here, you've got your typical uh, auto up and down four window switches here. You've got your uh, window lockout, your power mirror folding, and then of course your mirror controls, and then your lock on lock buttons. Down here, you have a uh, bottle storage here, and then some storage right back in here as well. This is your door handle right here. It is a push. This is our all uh, electronic doors on this car. And then in the event of a battery failure, you do have an emergency uh, button here that you can pull to open up the door. All right, just taking a look at the inside here, you can just kind of see how this beautiful combination of the brown leather and then um, the black contrasting uh, plastic parts that are in there. Um, this has got a wood looking trim that goes all the way across the front.
you do have power tilt and telescoping steering wheel right here. You have your uh, auto light control here. You have your uh, dashboard brightness or dimness and brightness switches and then your trunk release right here. You do have a nice footrest right here and then of course your nice uh, trimmed pedals down there. I do like this little uh, trim piece in here with the chrome accent going around the, the, the black leather. The seats themselves are heated and cooled and they are jet black Venetian leather. They are 30-way power adjustable, both passenger and driver. Okay, so let's give this a start. So it's a push start. Um, if you watch over here, it'll come on in just a second here. Oh, I think it's shut off. There it comes. I love all those like stardust coming in there. Then it says Continental. That's really nice. Okay, so uh, the the uh, driver's display is all digital. Let's see if I can shade it a little bit and we'll get a, just a little picture of it. But you have all your basic controls here, and we'll go over that in later in a, a more detailed video. But it is all digital and it is customizable. Okay, down here on the left of the steering wheel, you have your cruise control buttons, and you do have adaptive cruise. Over here, you have your media controller. And over on the right, you have got your driver's information display uh, buttons to control that, along with this display button. Then you have, you know, your phone navigation and then your voice command. Okay, moving on over here. This does have the Revel Ultima sound system, which is 19 speakers and sounds absolutely fantastic. It is Bluetooth capable. It is um, Android Auto and Apple has has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, as well as uh, voice command navigation. So uh, some of the interesting things to note up here are the push button gear selector switch. I do like how when you push a button, say you're in drive, you go to park, that all the buttons light up on the way up. That's kind of neat. You do have a sport mode. Over here on the right, you do have an auto hold feature for your brake. You do have your parking sensors on or off. You do have your parking assist button here. And you do have camera view button here. Now, moving on down here, you have physical, physical controls on the top for your audio. And then you have physical controls for your tri-zone climate control. Um, all these buttons are blacked out when the car is off and then light up when the car comes on, which I like. A um, couple things to point out here is you do have your heated steering wheel button and it is auto climate control and again tri-zone. You do have heated and cooled seats on both sides. All right, moving on down here, if we uh, open this door up, you've got two USB ports to connect in to your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well as charge your phone and a 12 volt outlet as well as a nice storage area right in here. Moving on back a little bit further, you have your cup holders right here which are illuminated. And then you have, a, would make a nice cell phone storage area right here. Okay. Going up inside the center console area, you have a top tray storage area. Okay. And if we swing that upwards, it does clip in so it holds itself. Down in here, you have a key fob storage area and another 12 volt uh, accessory outlet, as well as some nice felt lined storage and it is lit there with a little uh, led light hey moving over to the glove compartment it is a dampened opening which i like it's felt lined and it has ample storage moving on up here you do have an auto uh, dimming rear view mirror you have all of your lighting controls on this side. And then over here, you have your shade control and you have a rear window shade control as well as the panoramic roof shade control. And then you have, of course, your tilting and venting uh, buttons for your sunroof. And then back here, you have, of course, sunglass storage. These two 
uh, buttons up here, lights up here. They, well, they look like lights, but they're they're sensors. And they're, this is part of Ford's safety system, where if you leave the car and something, you know, there's something in here, like a child, uh, or if a rock comes through the window or something, it'll sense the movement and, and alarm you. Stepping in the back, you have two of your Revel Ultima audio system speakers, and you've got your unlock and lock buttons, your power uh, auto power down windows. And then up here, you do have your massaging and lumbar controls, just like you do in the front. And then this button here will recline the back of your seat. This button on the passenger side in the back will actually move the uh, passenger seat in the front forward um, or tilt it upwards to give you more leg room. Right, so let's step inside. Hey, nice and easy to get into. Lots of lots of space to, to crawl in here. Um, you have your uh, part of your vents right here. You have some more air vents down here. You've got a little storage right down here. Down here you have two USB charging ports and then you have a 110 volt, 150 watt household outlet. You also have seat pocket storage on both sides. But one of the best parts about this back seat, because this does have the rear seat package. So if I take the center armrest here and I put my hand in here and just give a pull forward, down comes a little bit of luxury. So on this one, you get an LCD screen. It's really nice. It comes up and says Continental. You do have a power off button for that. Um, but here's where you can control your media and here's where it displays. Down here, you have all of your seat functions. Uh, like heating and vent, heated, heated and cooled seats. Um, you have this is you can set your temperature, your fan speed, and then you do have control over the rear window shade, which has an R by it to let you know it's rear, or the top shade of the panoramic window. Okay. If I press this button here, I get cup holders that slide nicely out, and if I push this button here and pull up, I have some extra storage right back in here okay the only other thing right back here is the pass-through okay to the back okay but this is very comfortable very comfortable plenty of leg room here so let's let's uh, let's see um yeah about a foot uh and then in my, as far as my head goes i've got yeah about an inch about an inch of space there um, the the headliner here is uh, Alcantara, so it's very beautiful. It's very nice. Looks very luxurious. You do have manual window shades in the back, okay, on both sides. The rear one is powered. But what a beautiful place to sit and take a ride. Okay, so there are a lot of cool details on this car, but my favorite thing is this big, bold, mesh Lincoln grill. I absolutely love that. Love the big Lincoln emblem in the front. I think that's very well executed. I like the big chrome surround and everything. That is my favorite thing. All right, my favorite thing is the 30-way adjustable power seats in the front. Those are just amazing. I just I absolutely love, and I love the fact that the rear seats have the same controls, almost virtually the same controls. Favorite thing. Uh, as well as advanced integrate integral black advanced track electronic stability uh, with uh, the, the track dip, 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 dip. massage and lumbar settings up here you've got part of your uh, revel um, you part you have part of your revel audio 